Um, and one of those elite lizard people, as we like to call them here, is Bill Gates. We're taking things that are genetically modified organisms and we're injecting them in little kids' arms. We just shoot them right into the vein. Right into the vein. Right into the vein. This all has to all do with climate change. Climate change. Climate change. Climate, climate. climate change. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, got a couple, well, there's one main story here. And then, um, well, let me just mention that the divorce is, uh, the divorce settlement has been finalized between Bill and oh. the Gates. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Do we know how much she got? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know that they gave the exact mm. number in the article. Uh, well, okay. no, they did here. Hold on. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, They're going according through, to Forbes, like, Bill yeah. Gates, the co-founder of Microsoft, is worth a whopping 130.2 billion. Uh, Bill and Melinda hold a 125 million dollar residence in Washington, a private plane, luxury automobile collection, and 43 million dollar home in Del Mar, California. Yeah, it doesn't we say. It doesn't really we can't say. Go that, through the whole thing. No, yeah, it doesn't okay. say the actual number of what she got. But I guess they settled. So yeah, I'm sure they did. And I'm sure her them. appearances recently. You know, reiterating yeah. some points about Bill's connection to um, the threats, the, the threats, threats with uh, yeah. Bill's past history with uh, uh, Epstein, Epstein is something that she used to stronghold maybe some more. That is a great way to squeeze him for everything he's mm -hmm. worth. That's for sure. But this is geekwire.com and the headline is inside Bill Gates's multifaceted org that wants to help save the world from climate destruction. Mm. It started with a November 2015 announcement by Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates, along with Amazon's Jeff Bezos. I have a little ISO of Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg and more than two dozen other tech titans and billionaires. They're joining together to invest in cutting edge technologies to help combat climate change. Quote, when we went into it, we didn't know if we were going to find good companies. We didn't know if there was an entrepreneur environment that was going to make sense. We didn't know if we were going to find co-investors. We thought we were going to have to basically build these companies on our own, said Jonah Goldman, who worked with Gates on the effort. This is like a proto-ESG. It's like the, the mm. birthing of ESG here. Interesting. Through the okay. eyes of the billionaires. 13 months later, the group announced that it had raised $1 billion for its Breakthrough Energy Ventures, a fund that targets climate tech startups in the tech development and company building phases. We're pleasantly surprised, Goldman said. The early success emboldened and propelled the effort. It has now evolved into the Gates-led organization called Breakthrough Energy a nearly 100-employee global effort with multiple programs working to support and deploy decarbonizing tech. It includes the original venture fund, which has doubled to $2 billion and invested in more than 85 companies, Breakthrough Energy Catalyst, a program that funds companies that are ready to scale their technologies, uh, other programs, including Breakthrough Energy Fellows, which supports basic research and new startups, as well as efforts promoting climate-related policy and government engagement, public outreach, and in-house science. While it was an early leader in climate tech investments, seven years later, Breakthrough Energy is part of a much more crowded field. The sector has, been seen st uh, has seen steady growth with investors worldwide last year committing more than $900 billion to decarbonization companies, according to Bloomberg NEF. Uh, Breakthrough Energy is unusual for its network of initiatives that are trying to bolster the weak links in the pathway from the benchtop research to commercialize solutions that, are, that can remove half a gigaton of carbon from the atmosphere each year, either through cleaner industrial and energy producing processes or outright carbon capture. GeekWire recently caught up with Goldman, now managing director of Breakthrough Energy. Um, and uh, hey, what's the what's the punchline to this here? The big, the, I mean, it's just a, kind of an inside look at, you know, the Breakthrough Energy's company with Gates leading it. You know, the, the, we talk about the next sort of the new, you know, Biden talking about the new world order, all these uh, supply chains changing. Ultimately, it comes down to energy distribution, energy control, and that right. has to do with the smart grid. We've talked about all these, the infrastructure for the elite to, to really pr create the virtual panopticon and you know, the technocracy, watching everything, us monitoring ourselves. And carbon capturing is a you know sort of the perfect vehicle, the climate change conversation. Um, 
Oh, and these are all things under one organization run by Bill Gates. By Bill Gates. It's it's an yeah. energy company, though. It's an energy so it's, company. So it's literally directly so in competition. He's got, the, he's got the medical thing on lockdown. He's got the farmland. He's got the, he's got the computers. He's now, got, and now he's got energy. You know, so he's got he energy. turning and, into a literal sort of. I don't know, evil villain. Evil villain. <laughs> and he's he's butting heads with people like Elon Musk, which I think is part of the agenda, too, to create these mm. sort of world leaders uh, at odds and, you know, fighting for basically our attention, our money, our DNA, all of it. You I know, think so, just our souls. They just well, want our souls. You can just, you can just distill yeah. it down to that. But uh yeah, I just thought, you know, we won't go through the whole interview here, but it goes through, it talks about the, you know, the multiple trillions of dollars that uh, this can bring in and everything else. So I think this is all part of the ESG. They're sort of uncovering the the short history, the short term history of um, how they even came up with the whole ESG. They don't say ESG in this article, but we've been paying attention to it enough to know that that's kind of what this is. Like the billionaires who want to help fight climate change doing things. It's all and about creating, the stakeholders, baby. Yeah, creating the the, the using the culture war as uh-huh. uh, as the currency. Yes, there you go. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's something to keep an eye on, you know, because these things get announced and they go without too much fanfare or discussion until much later when people start really freaking out about stuff. But Bill Gates is a big enough name that a hated enough name to at least right. uh, mention Breakthrough Energy Ventures and what what they're doing, what they're planning to do as we. Move into this, uh, the new world order, as they say. Good times. Mm-hmm. Good times, baby. Yeah.